In the previous app, I showed you how to kind of add user login to your app uh, for, for our COVID-19 uh, supplies app. And now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is show you that, you know, how we can tag every entry with user information. We'll just use the email for, for now. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and sign in. This is what I showed you in the last video, how to set up this kind of sign in for your app. And I just wanna show you right now, if I add in um, an entry here, like P TP at Walgreens, and then I hit post. Um, when I hit post, you'll see the entry. Oh, sorry, it's covered up a little bit. Let me show you. Sorry, I dropped the iPad. Um, but the entry I just typed in just says TP at Walgreens. Notice that it has a timestamp, which, which is great. Um, but what it doesn't have is any information about who posted it. And that's what we're gonna add, add right now. Okay, um, so I wanna show you one thing it, you brought in a login screen, a template, which, which you can use for your apps, and it's called Dave's Login Screen. And one thing it does is it stores the user's email and password locally on their device. Okay, the nice thing about that is every time they come back, uh, they can easily log in. They don't have to re retype it. Okay. The other thing is we can use this email um, to tag every entry. And it's actually pretty easy. So I'm going to go over to screen one. And if you'll remember, anytime the um, user clicks the submit button or the post it button, um, they come here and we add a new entry to our basically cloud variable post by user. Right now we add whatever they typed plus the timestamp. So we're just gonna add one more entry here. And, and what I'll do is just put the email first in a colon. So what I'm gonna do is add an item at the top and what we're gonna say is, actually we need two items, so let me add one more, one more item. Sorry, when I update my app, the, you know, the app relaunches and, and so it's, it went back to the password screen, but just ignore that for now. Okay, what I wanna join is what they entered, the timestamp, but I'm also gonna go over to variables and there is something called stored email. And that's one thing our login screen handles is storing that on the user's device. So I can just grab the stored email and then from text, I'll grab a colon. So that'll just separate the name from what they enter. Okay, and that's pretty much it, All right? I'm gonna go log in again on my iPad and my iPad is uh, being shown um, on, on the screen here. And I'm gonna enter a new thing. Let's just say wipes available. And I'm just gonna post it. And when I post it, you'll notice um, it's got the, oops, sorry. The posting has the user's email and then a colon and then their actual entry and the date and time. Of course, you could kind of reconfigure this how, how you want it. Um, there's also a way to get uh, the nickname from Google. So, so you can only, with this Firebase setup that we got with Thunkable, you can only use Gmail accounts for it. Um, and there is a way to get the nickname or you can use the email, uh, but you can't really, you know, you'd have to do extra coding if you want to kind of keep track of your own usernames. But anyway, that's a way to tag all your entries with who entered it.